Hello everybody, Katie here. Uh, welcome to the first card making video that I'm going to be doing. Um, let's see, up until this point, um, I've been doing a lot of haul videos, and I figured it was high time that I got away um, from those for a little bit and showed you guys actually what I do with some of the supplies that it looks like I'm just hoarding. Um, I am not hoarding them, I do I promise, I do use them. Um, but that's, I know that with, when you only do haul videos, that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> My husband thinks I hoard them, but, but I don't, I promise. Um, okay, so I made a card last night, and I really liked it. It was really cute. Um, this is the card right here. Um, it's a little more masculine, and it's, we've got some little black enamel accents dots on it. Um, some greens and blues. And then the inside, happy birthday. Um, I liked making this card. I love the mix of patterns, and, um, and it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to make another kind of version of this card, but I'm going to use some more girly colors. And eventually, you know, I'll get a, you know, I'm going to do a whole setup. I mean, eventually I'll give them to my mother. Um, she likes to come over and um, dig in my stash of cards, and, and that's where she gets her cards from. Okay, so what I have here is I have a four and a quarter by five and a half um, card. This is the, well, I guess it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. That's, that's more right. Okay. Um, so that's going to be my card base right there. And then I have this piece of patterned paper uh, from American Crafts, the everyday six by six paper pad. Looks like this. Um, and this one is scored at four by five and a quarter. So it'll go like that. And then I have a smaller piece of white cardstock uh, that is three and a half by five. And it'll go, you know, somewhat like that on the card. Okay. Um, you know what? Real quick, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'm actually going to real quick take this down to four and three quarters. So I'm going to take a little bit off of this here real quick. This won't take but just a second. I've got my little Fiskars trimmer out here. And we're going to go four and three quarters. And you guys could see right there I've kind of been playing around. But I'm just going to use the back of it, back of that paper. Um, I should go ahead and mention that this is Nina um, Solar White paper. Um, I do not remember what weight it is. I know it is a heavier weight, um, but I don't remember um, exactly how heavy it is. Um, so, all right, I have. Let's see. I'm going to have the. I'm going to use the. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, I'm going to use the High Five stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is a new one. I just got it the other day. And I'm going to use these three stamps. This I'm going to use uh, this one right here. I'm going to use the oval. And then I'm going to use the dots. Okay. And I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Up! ink. And then I'm going to use three Mama Elephant inks. These are the Mama Elephant pigment inks. I'm going to use uh, Eggplant. Uh, lollipop. And I'm going to use blush. Okay. Set those over there. For my sentiment stamp, um, I found this tiny little set at uh, a local store. Um, and it's by Fiskars. I hope you guys can see this okay. Um, but I'm going to use this happy birthday here on the outside, and then on the inside I'm going to use this may your birthday be as special as you are. Um, so that's the, the stamp set for the sentiment that I'm going to use. Let's put it away. Okay, so I believe I'm ready to get started. Okay, I have here my Fiskars stamp press right here, and I'm going to put on the striped, you know, the angles stamp. 
put it on the stamp press and I'm going to get it nice and level there. Press it down real good so that it sticks. And you know what? Um, I think I'm going to do lollipop first because I don't want the, I don't really want the two pinks next to each other. Okay, so I've got lollipop ink, mama elephant pigment ink going down on the stamp. Okay, here we go. Flip that over, line it up. Sorry if my head's gonna get in the picture for just a minute. And down it goes. Okay. I'm pressing real good. I want to be sure that I get good coverage with this stamp. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. I like the way that looks. Let me get a little wipey. Clean off my stamp set or my stamp. I use um, I use baby wipes to clean my stamps. They are the most convenient thing that I have found that I use. Um, I get the kind that are for sensitive skin, so it doesn't have any dyes or perfumes or anything in that that could actually harm the stamp. Because uh, don't want that. Okay, and let me make sure that the stamp set is dry. Dry it off here real quick. Okay. Stick it back on there like that. Okay, now I'm going to flip it. No. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I'm going to stay just like that. And I'm going to put the eggplant on there. This is the purple color. And this is one of my favorites from the Mama Elephant Pigment Inks. Okay. That and I'm going to set that up just like that. I'm not sure exactly how close I got those together, but we will see. That's all right if they overlap just a little. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's that. Clean off the stamp. Here. This pig, the purple pigment ink likes to hang out on the stamp. Okay, so that's it for the stripe that I'm going to use. Now I have the little dots stamp. I'm going to push that out of the way. Um, and these are going to get the blush ink. These dots are such a sporadic pattern anyway that I don't have to, I can, I'm pretty much just, you know, a lot of times with a pattern like this you rotate your stamp, but I'm, I'm not real worried about that. I'm just going to go ahead and find a position in my hand that's comfortable to hold it and go with it. And one more. Down we go. Okay. Clean this one off. And then I've got some things here on my desk. I work on a desk that is made of, um, the top part of it here is made of glass. And so it's real easy for me to um, clean up my mess and um, stuff doesn't stick to it or dry to it or anything like that. It's, it's a lot like um, working on one of the craft sheets, um, but it's, it's the actual desk. Okay, now I have from the High Five stamp set, this oval stamp, and you can see mine does not have the, the pattern on the back of it like these do, because uh, when I was putting it on there, <laughs> um, 
it got all crinkled up and it wouldn't stick to the acrylic blocks. So I just took it off and said, it's, it's, it's a spotted opal. I'll just go with it. Um, and it still works just fine. And it, if anything, it actually sticks to the block uh, a little bit better. So, yeah. So I just, that's why that one does not have the, um, the picture on the back of it of what it actually is. Okay, so this is the Stampin' Up! Blackberry Bliss ink. It is a new in color for 2014-2016. Um, with these new stamp pads that Stampin' Up! is using, you do not have to press the stamp into the stamp pad. You can just basically like touch it on there and it will completely load it up with ink. Um, my friend is a demonstrator and we were playing with the new ink pads at her house one day and I get a stamp and I grab the real red ink pad and just go, you know, pounding away on it. And, uh, we had red ink everywhere. It was horrible. <laughs> um, but lesson learned. So learn from my experience and do not just go knocking away on them. They will be just fine. See, look at how pretty that stamps. Oh, love that. Okay, let me grab a wipey. I use a lot of these baby wipes and I, I fly through them pretty quick. Um, and on camera it probably looks a little dark, but that's what the purple color Blackberry Bliss looks like. Um, it's a really, really great, really pretty, I mean just real pretty purple color. Um, oh, I'm still going to need that. I need to leave it open. Okay, so let me get the other stamp set here real quick. Happy birthday. Stamp set. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure it fits in there. Fits good. Okay. Now I'm going to ink it up. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm just touching it. To the stamp pad. I'm not, I'm not, you know, pressing down. Okay, that looks good and inky. Push that out of the way. You want know one more knock on it? There we go. Okay, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now while I have out this stamp set and the Blackberry Bliss ink, I'm going to push that up there. This is going to be the inside of the card. Oh, and I've got ink on the block. Okay. This is going to be on the inside of the card. I'm just going to stamp it right there. This is again the Blackberry Bliss ink. I can do this without getting it all over me. Probably not. I am a very, very messy crafter. Okay. Just try not to get it on the, uh, the project. And stamp it. Okay. Oh, shoot. There went my safety pin. I'll pick that up later. Um, okay. So there's that. And I'm done. With that, put it off to the side, put that back on there. There's a whole bunch of really cute little stamps in this set. There's numbers and balloons and just some, some other, and the celebrate right here with this sparkle. And I think it's just really, and it also comes with a, a and an erd. Um, <laughs> so you get, you know, first, second, uh, third, fourth, you know, birthday. Um, it's just, it's a really good birthday stamp set to have. Okay. Okay, so I've got that done right there. And then, I've, you see I had my measurement wrote on here. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I'm just going to be covering it up. And, do, 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 do. I'm going to use, for an adhesive, I'm going to use this um, Elmer's Glue Glue Dot Dispenser. 
this was on clearance. Well, not really on clearance. This was at, um, it was actually at my grocery store. Um, how it ended up at my local grocery store, I have no idea. But they had them on sale for like $2. So I grabbed like four of these and I grabbed every refill packet that they had because their refill packets were a dollar. Um, and I've, you know, I've given them out and, and you know, I had a, um, we had a little giveaway thing at a local scrapbook store, and I put a couple of those in there. I put, a, you know, those and a, you know a few refills in there and things like that. Um, but it's actually been pretty handy. I thought when I got it that it was just going to be, you know, I, thought, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that great. I mean, it was two bucks. I didn't think, I did not think it was going to be that great. Um, but it's actually, I'm actually really, really pleased with it. Um, I, I'm really, really happy with it so far. Um, and I wish I could, you know, find some more of the refills because I know I'm going to run out. Um, but to use it, all you have to do is you hold it straight up and down and press down. And it dispenses a little, a little glue dot. Um, there is a little guide right here that shows you where the glue dot is going to come out. Um, this is initially, initial, initially repositionable, but eventually, you know, permanent. Um, adhesive. So once this adhesive gets on there, you've got a little bit of wiggle room, um, but it will it will become permanent. There we go. My glue dots down. Um, two more. There we go. Okay. Make sure we get lots of glue dots on there, and I'm going to line this up. Sure, yeah. Boy, that'd be my luck. Line it up and it's not even in the right spot on the side, right side of the card. Oh, good lord. That's not straight on. If anybody has any tips for centering your card panels, I would be very, very interested to hear them. Um, this is by far what I struggle with the most. And see, I can look at this and tell that it's not perfectly straight, but um, it's handmade and I'm willing to live with it. <laughs> um, so if anybody has any tips or any kind of little hints or tricks or anything like that about how you get your um, card panel centered on there, I just think that would be really, really cool to share. So leave me a comment um, over on the side in the little, you know, the little comment box and uh, let me know. Um, Okay, so on this side over here, you can see where I tried to do this, and this is what I was talking about with the stamp falling off the block. Um, it did, and then it bounced. <laughs> so I ended up with this, and since this video uh, was going on YouTube, I just said, you know what, to flip it over. I'm starting over. Uh, so the adhesive is actually going to be going on this side, and I think for this, uh, I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive. I have these tiny little dimensionals that I am trying to get rid of. I'm trying to use them all up. So let me stick some of these down. I do not remember where I got these. It was probably from one of the big box stores. Um, and I like to use all of one product, like adhesives and, and things like that before I go get more. So I'm trying to get all these used up so I can go and get some more. Um, I will, you know, I'll, I want to try the, um, I think they're my best creations. It's the dimensionals that come on the big long sheet. Um, and you get a ton of them. I want to try those because I know that they're the price on them is really good. So I'm wondering like what what the quality is like on them. I like these. These have some good stick. So I'm hoping that they're a lot like a lot like these. I think that's everything. Okay. And then another thing I really like with these is you've got, again, 
that wiggle room before anything becomes permanently stuck down. Look that up to me, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's on there like that. And I'm trying not to touch it. <coughs> sorry about that. Oh my goodness. I'm trying not to touch it too much um, in case any of that pigment ink is still wet. Um, for those of you that don't know, pigment ink um, sits on top of the paper. And so it doesn't absorb into the paper. And so it tends to stay wet a little bit longer. Um, and it can kind of, and if you're not careful, um, it can smear. So, but there is the card right there. I think, <coughs> oh goodness, here, I'll quit here in a minute. Um, I think I am going to add some Stardust Stickles to it. Maybe. Do I want to do Stardust? Or... I want to do, I think I'm going to do the Stardust ones just because there's already a lot of pink on here with the two pink colors and the pink background. I think I'm going to use this iridescent, um, this kind of iridescent, um, sickles color. Okay, so let me get, let me get a scratch piece of paper here. And make sure I get a good stream coming out of the bottle. And I'm just going to do some, you know, some little random, little random dots, kind of. Um, I like to work in odd numbers. So you'll see me do, so there's five. So there's five. And, you know, I'm... I'm really liking it with just the five, so I'm going to leave it with that. And I think I'm going to call this card good. Um, shoot. And here I am throwing stuff all over my desk. Um, so I think I'm going to call this card good. Um, I'll have some pictures after the um, stickles dries at the end of the video. Um, so if you guys liked the video, please let me know, you know, give me a thumbs up or, you know, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. Let me know that, you know, in the comments what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see some more cards? Do you want to see like a series of cards, um, tutorials? You know, I'm, I'm really new to this YouTube thing. So, um, let me know what you guys want to see because after all, YouTube is all about you. Um. I hope you guys had a great time watching me create this really, really cute card. Um, I don't know that I'm going to give this one to my mom. I may keep this. <laughs> um, but anyway, you guys have a great day. Have a wonderful Saturday, and I will talk to you later. Bye!